Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have something special. This is the 5-2 Toys Beast Drive Abyss Sweeper. Now, I believe last week I did review the Beast Drive Naughty Star, which was the second uh, release of the Wheel Raptor line or the Raptor line. This is the second release for the Shark line. The first being called, I believe was called, yeah, Hydro Bullet, which was a, a shark that could transform into a jet or the other way around. This is also their second line. So. Uh, yeah, uh, this did arrive technically this week on Friday, so I was able to f finish building it, uh, you know, on Saturday. Alright, so now let's see what we get. So, as usual, we'll, we'll go with the typical uh, start, which is checking the components. So, right off the box, what you will be getting when you open the box is that uh, you'll get the instruction manual. The instruction manual will show you how to build the kit. This is actually a, a semi-model kit, meaning that there is actually a base frame that's already been pre-built, and then you have to apply the armor out, outer armor on it. So you do need to do some uh, building and assembly on your own. And then, other than that, we'll show you guys how to transform from jet to shark as well. Other than that, you should be getting the the typical five to toys catalog for the beast box and stuff, and the this small one for their other line, which is composed of very small figurines. Uh, collectible figurines and then you should be also getting some decals so you get regular decals and then I believe these are supposed to be uh, yeah these are wire slide decals as well so there um, now personally I don't like applying wire decal decal so I didn't really use these and then we get the five the beast drive catalog here so just wanted to show you guys so here was the first raptor called wheel raptor and then this here is the first shark called hydro bullet very too very successful products if you ask me especially the shark was very nice and here's the second one I did review and then here we have this second shark now uh, here are some upcoming stuff now oddly enough on the manuals these will be co considered number twos but I'm, I'm assuming something went wrong so they released these guys first so we get these two that these will be the last line of the raptor and the shark and here is their new line uh, which is composed of a squirrel rabbit and this one I'm not really too sure what it is but uh, there are more coming around because I have seen prototype images for a, a pterodactyl, so a car that can transform into a pterodactyl. So I'm very, very excited for that as well. And yeah, other details. All right, now let's look at the product itself. So currently, uh, once you when, once you start start assembly and finishing it, it will be on its jet mode. So once you complete it, you you will have the jet mode. And another small kind of an accessory is the figurine. So we get a very nice small uh, hammerhead shark uh, pilot figurine. So once again, all you need to do is get in, open the cockpit. I believe it's yeah this way, and then this will actually be a very perfect fit like that. And then you, you can uh, yeah if you. You have to, it's going to be a very perfect fit so once you actually have it in the correct position you should have zero problems closing the cockpit as well so uh, let me try that again so the tail has to be in the middle there we go and then you should be able to close it down uh, because the the previous hydro bowl it also had came with a regular shark or kind of looks like a more like a fish but still all right so uh, before we go into anything else, let's do a quick comparison with the previous version. So once again, here is Hydro Bullet, here is Abyss Sweeper. So they both share the exact same frame, the inner base frame. Now the changes are the inner part, the outer armor parts here. So yeah, you can definitely see they still kind of want, they still want went with the similar profile being a jet like style so up to the front nose to the middle yeah you could say they're kind of similar but different style going on here and of course the inner frame part some parts are actually different color like this white part uh, on hydro bullet instead they kind of change into a, a kind of a darker red going on here and you can see the the bottom sections are slightly different because of the outer armor going on here so yeah, um, and then you can see the Hydro Bullet actually had more clear parts, these clear green parts. Well, this one doesn't have, does have not exactly the same amount, but have different clear parts in certain areas, like these gigantic tank, these tanks, which is a very, very cool, nice touch, if you ask me. And then we have the obviously the cockpit, and then we have these that look like kind of lights, which I will go into later. But for now, um, in terms of articulation, being a jet, there's not much to show in terms of jet. These these parts fold up. Once again, these are for the jet slash transformation here. You can move them upwards. Once again, more for the transformation here. So in this jet form, it's really hard to say there's, it, there is any articulation. But there are some parts that you can move around, but that's pretty much it. And for now, uh, 
no, showing the transformation might take a long time, so I'm just going to give you guys the basic gist of it. So in order to transform, you can fold up the nose, you push out this part as well, and then you flip this section upwards, and then you pull out the neck a little bit, and then reveal the hammerhead shark's uh, head. Yeah, you can see, so those lights, where these clear parts, these are actually clear parts, are actually the eyes of the hammerhead. And then you close it up and then make sure the head back here is actually covering, slightly covering the cockpit like that. So that's the way how it works. And yeah, because being a head shark, you can actually open the mouth. The mouth is right there. So you can see it is a hammerhead shark. And then the rest is pretty much cleaning up, um, making sure everything is, you know, in place. So uh, you fold up, basically you do all sorts of folding, twisting and such, uh, pulling out the fins clicking in place, folding these parts inwards and making sure make sure you have to you pull this part out and then um, it's all about flipping here and there. So yeah, uh, so once again I'll be right back with the cleaned up version and we'll see what we got. Okay I'm back so here I finalized and like, trimmed up the transformation here going on here so once again when you're first building this kit or when once you get this for the first time now the transformation may seem a little bit complicated but once you do it a few times they, they aren't too difficult as you think. So once again here we have the Hydro Bullet in its shark form and here we have Abyss Sweeper so once again I think uh, the sharks their names I have zero you know zero problems it's just the the raptors their names kind are kind of you know interesting. So once again, uh, a quick comparison before we go into anything else. So here we have the Hydro Bullet. So this one was the first release and I think for the first one, they just really wanted to go with the basic designs, even with Real Raptor. So once again, uh, they did a really good job. And when you look at it, 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 it the first thing you see, you see is that it is a mechanical shark. So, and they did a really good job with the, especially um, the clear green parts were a very nice touch and the head definitely looks very nice and definitely looks like a shark. Now here we have the hammerhead version. Once again, um, I'm really, I'm really happy that what the direction they took, they could just release a red version of this and call it a day, but no, they actually changed the type of shark going on here, and then they went a few extra steps in changing some style and design here and there. So you can see uh, the eyes are here, while you know instead of having a typical head, they went with this and making making it look like lights for the jet, so you can fold them up like that. So very nice detail and despite having a larger head they actually made more articulation for the head so you, the there is a longer neck joint so you can kind of extend and move out as well and then even the opening mouth is a very good touch and despite having the head you can actually move it down and op it's still open the cockpit here so still very well done. And then the fins, you can see the fins are much smaller. I'm not sure if in the sharks in real life are like that, but once again, these fins are also pretty small, but they still serve their purpose. Like you can move it up for, uh, forward or backwards like that, fold it up, down, once again, your preference as well. And then the back fin, once again, it moves around, but once again, it doesn't, there is no correct position according to the manual, but once again, I like to make it clean, make it look clean. And once again, despite lacking more clear parts, I think they did a really good job utilizing the clear parts here. So instead of having like, you know, fins or typical areas, they decide to give these gigantic like oxygen tanks, or maybe oxygens or maybe some sort of a liquid tank here using the clear piece. So there's no, there's nothing inside these. These are just canisters of clear piece. So a uh, very nice touch going on here. And once again, the tail. So in terms of articulation, you do have the backward uh, tail, forward and backward movement, so pretty well done. There is no movement in the middle, and then the rest is based on the, how much you can move on the head. So you can see, I believe there, there is actually a very long joint here. So you can see there is a joint here that connects to the head, to the body, and then there's another joint on the inside. So uh, the ball joint here allows it to move side to side, and then the, in, the joint that's inside the head allows it to go up and down and such. So pretty well balanced. And once again, as you guys saw from the start, uh, here we have the hole for the action base. So yeah. So once again, very well done. I'm really surprised and impressed by the design here. Both are very good. I can't, if someone asked me which one they should get, I'm, pr I'm probably gonna say both because I actually really love these concepts going on here. And which is why I'm very excited for the upcoming Beast Drive line as well. So yeah, and once again, uh, I did not expect the mouth to be like opening like this. So I'm really, really impressed. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the review. So once again, um, 
if you do, if you are a big fan of the Beast Box line, I do suggest that you try the uh, the Five Toys Beast Drive line. The Beast Box lines are the, basically the ones that transform into cubes, the five centimeter perfect cubes, and then transforms into mechanical insects, dinosaurs, animals, and etc. Uh, these ones are Beast Drive. They're, it's their latest new line, which is basically uh, mechanical animals that can transforms that transforms into certain vehicles. So so far, we only have like a Cyber Formula like style car and then these futuristic jets going on here so i'm really really excited to see what they're up for the future i mean sure the the upcoming the ones i just showed on the catalog the three were all jets but once again uh it's kind of just interesting to see what they're going to come up with i would love to see like larger vehicles as well in the future anyway thank you for watching the review this was the review of the 52 toys uh beast drive a bit sweeper. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.